the tradition continues here at Channel 3 and in South Texas. Yes, albeit still a little different since the pandemic, but our students are the backbone of what's going to determine whether this year's event is a success or not. And here to tell us more about it is the executive director of the Coastal Bend Food Bank, B. Hansen. Siempre un placer tenerla con nosotros hoy por la mañana en Domingo Live. So, B, I've got to ask you these questions because this is so important, this message that we need to get out to our community. Share Your Christmas, of course, has been supporting uh, the Coastal Bend Food Bank for more than 35 years. Got to ask you, how's it looking for 2022? Share Your Christmas has been a, our signature event for 35 years. And through every year we look forward to this time of the year because the demand goes up. And as uh, times are changing, the demand is even uh, higher now. And so uh, we, with the pandemic had to change things and we could not meet face to face anymore. And, and our traditional way of doing uh, Share Your Christmas uh, has changed now, like many other things. But we want to revive Share Your Christmas because this is a very special time when everybody in the community can participate and make a difference in the lives of those that are in need. And not only we give these people the opportunity to have a um, celebration for Christmas, but also we are giving them hope because knowing that we are not alone at this time of the year. So this is a very important event for the food bank and for the community. And we are going to revive it in a very exciting and new way. It's going to be online and actually it's already open. You can start making donations online. If you prefer to give us food, we're going to save you a trip to the grocery store. You just open your computer, you go in to share your Christmas, and we're going to have cases of green beans, corn, whatever you want to buy. You pay for it, and then we will be getting that food for our uh, people that we're going to be helping. So um, it's going to be exciting. You can do it from your living room, from your office, from your phone, you can take a few minutes and, uh, and make a difference in the life of a person. You can donate the, the funds. And of course, we have the, the buying power that other people don't, don't have because if you're going to pay retail, but we don't pay retail, we can buy more for less money. So that by you giving us a donation, we are able to stretch that donation even further. So um, this is our new Share Your Christmas. That is the way it is in 2022, B. It is a new way of doing things for right now. We certainly do miss the old ways. We miss having the, the big event out in front of our studios here at Channel 3. We're not doing it this year again because we still have some COVID restrictions, but we found creative ways to do it. And one of those creative ways to do it is to ask our children, our students, our scholars who are, who are enrolled in, in, in some of our most amazing schools here in South Texas. We're depending on them this year even more than we have in years past because they can make a difference. So tell me more about that. You know, the schools have been part of Share Your Christmas uh, through the 35 years, and, and even through the pandemic, the schools continued to help us during that time. But this year, we are going to make it special for them. And if your school wants to participate, you just need to call us, you collect the food, and the food that the, the school that collects the most food is gonna get a $1,000 prize to be used by the school in any way that they need. A thousand dollar prize for any school that comes in with the most. And we would, would in years past, we would have the schools that come in, that came in with, you know, say the first top three or top five would come here and we'd open up the envelopes and give them all their prizes. It was wonderful. Of course, we won't be able to do something like that, but we'll do something along those lines. So. We know that the economy this year, inflation and, and just coming off of a pandemic has certainly been something very, very, very difficult for many folks. Um, everything costs more. 
How is the food bank getting through these most difficult times for us here in the Coastal Bend? How, how are y'all doing that? In fact, this uh, last few months have been very difficult for the food bank because as uh, the economy has affected uh, people and, and their paychecks, it is also affecting the food bank. We had several loads of food by, that were canceled by USDA, by the government. And so we're not getting as much food and we are having to purchase food because we still have to distribute. And so the cost of food has gone up, continues to go up. The transporting that food has gone up. The cost of our gas has gone up. And so we have been stretching our funds the, mo the most that we can. So Share Your Christmas is going to replenish some of the, the food that we need in the warehouse and help us out with funding so that we can distribute and we have enough gasoline for, to take those trucks out into the community. Yeah, I mean, the food costs is just one thing, and then the fuel costs, and then, of course, you the employees. You, you have volunteers. You depend on those as well very, very much every day to go in there and, and pack your boxes and do things like that. But, you know, it, it, it's just not easy, just not easy at all. So before we let you go, B, one final question. We know that in years past you've mentioned um, how many people, how many lives the food bank of the Coastal Bend touches. Can you give me some numbers? We want to share those with residents so that they understand that that these donations are extremely important. Can you share that for us? We have 104 agencies in 11 counties, and we also have a mobile pantry. That's a truck that just actually serves as, a, as an agency and goes to the rural communities and the areas where they don't have an agency or a, a grocery store. Uh, our agencies are members of the food bank and they, they place an order, they receive uh, a menu of what is in the warehouse. And based on that, they place an order every month or every twice a month as, as often as they need to. And then some of them come here and they pick up their orders. Some others prefer that we del deliver it. And, and another, uh, uh, area that we're helping our agency says some of them that are close to an HEB or a Walmart, um, <clears throat> either in any of this 11 counties, uh, they are trained in how to receive the food directly from the uh, grocery store. Uh, in the past, our trucks will go pick up all this food that they could not sell and uh, because the, the sell by date was expired or whatever other reason, or they have too much of something. And we will bring it to the office, to the uh, to our warehouse. And then it will take a day for us to inspect it, repack it, and then another day to take it back to our agencies. Now that we allow our agencies to go directly to Walmart or to HEB, pick up all this food. They have been trained in how to inspect the food and the food is fresher. The same day that they pick it up, they can distribute it to people. So we are finding new ways to provide the good balanced meals, good vegetables, milk, eggs, all the perishables and, uh, and fresher because we're able to get them to the people and to their tables uh, in a shorter period of time. Uh, Share Your Christmas is going on now. So go to our website and you can donate now. Uh, help us make this holiday a very special time for many, many people that are in need. Thank you so much for your help. All right, thank you, B, for uh, being with us hoy por la mañana. The Coastal Bend Food Bank is, uh, is a wonderful organization. They've seen us through some of the toughest times here in the Coastal Bend, saw us through the pandemic, uh, is seeing us now through the time of high inflation and everything costing more. Um, so let's help them out. Let's help them if you can. And you yourself at home have been blessed in one way or another, and you're able to spare some, uh, some non-perishable food items, or you can dig deep into your account and say, you know what, I'm gonna bless the food bank with some money. And then of course, we'll make those dollars stretch even further. But let's do it now. You can go online, go to their website, or you can wait and get your kids, if they're going to school, hand them over some food, 
to put into their canisters there at uh, their schools if they're participating in this year's Share Your Christmas. All of it, I can tell you, all of it will benefit those that are needed, that are in need this year, those that, uh, that don't have the resources to buy their own food, or perhaps they're, they're, they're living paycheck to paycheck and just don't have enough money to buy their food. The Coastal Bend Food Bank is there for them, and someday they will be there for you. If going forward to the OSU, you won't have to depend on them, but they will be there for you should you need them.